just got it all hooked back up. <coughs> There's our saw. Very, very light production. It's got just uh, distilled water. That's it. Um, just started it a couple minutes ago, first time. Uh, initial amp draw to my uh, field winding was about 256, so it's down about 100 milliamps. Got <coughs> um, a lawn tractor battery. Got a charger on it here just to sustain that. Basically, just applying a little about a little more than a triple charge to it. Um, Apparently, it's not showing any amp draw to the cell, uh, mainly because I haven't put any uh, additive in it, it's just distilled water. And um, picked up some Drano here because my potassium hydroxide has still not shown up. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to add it yet, but I'm going to let it run for a little while here. Watch the temperatures, and I may just uh, may just let it run just like this all night, um, just to circulate, just to circulate water through, and. Um, I don't see, I don't see any crap other than what was already in there. So, um, that's, uh, that's what I know. Um, the voltage, let's see here, this here is the charge voltage on the battery, but let's see what the voltage on the, get this out of here. Voltage over here. Oh, what do we got? Wow, okay. We have 50.6 volts. That's huge. Um, way more than what we need, but we've got no current. Um, I'll hook up a current meter here and uh, see what we got. If there, if anything. All right. Well, I figured I'd throw this in there. Something of a disaster this evening. And right now, the field coil is not engaged, and so things are just setting. But as you can see, there's still some bubbles rising up through here. Um. Apparently. What I put in there was way too much. Or this drain cleaner is just the wrong shit to put in there. So I got like a suds glower here. And it's heating up my alternator. So I do not have a voltage regulator on this alternator. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and to show you what this thing is doing. Um, connect this and it's going to go watch this amp meter. It pegs at 20 and then comes back down. Circulation. You can see that. What's coming out is just foam. Foam galore. Now we're back up to, oh, what is that? About 13, 13 amps. Seven. 
the voltage is coming down over there. Looking over here, it's just pouring out of there. So, you see that. I'm guessing this crap here is the wrong stuff to use. So I guess at the very least I hope that it's going to clean out my cell good. It's pulling really, really hard here and heating this up. about 180 earlier. Um, I don't really want to cook another alternator. This just boggles my mind. See this? Shit, <laughs> it just keeps, it just keeps on coming. Holy cow. Be fun to throw a match on it, but I don't know if I'd be here to tell about it. God only knows what all's in there. You can see, that's the output line. There. And it actually, it actually does look like it's clearing up. Oh, holy cow, look at this. We got foam going back in now. Alright, I'm shutting it down. It's cycling foam back into it. Holy cow. Talk about scrubbing the system, huh? So, um, anyway, that's, uh, that's the disaster of the night. And, uh, <laughs> uh I don't know. I think, I don't know. I'll think about this. My gut feeling is I put the wrong crap in there. What is in this stuff? It says, uh... Da -da 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 -da. Oh... Believe it or not, I did read it first. But, uh... Contains sodium hydroxide, sodium hypo hypochlorite, and sodium silicate. So, um, that's what I know. This thing's pushing it out every which way. So, there we have it. Alright, well, looks like it's blown all the water out. This is what I got inside my reservoir. So, uh, Wow, I got a mess. <laughs> uh, I got a mess. Okay, this is my first attempt at filtering that mess. Um, I just took this out. This here. Um, I've gone and poured it through this coffee filter a couple of times. Um, there's some of the old coffee filters there. And I'm getting ready to clean it out again. The stuff, I don't know if I can see this very well. Yeah, there you can. And it's really built up in the lines. So I'm going to see if I can flush that out with some distilled water. And then look at this crap. Holy smoke. Coming out of the uh, top, the output here. Also another thing that I'm wondering. What's the... What's the word on brass fittings? Look at that. Both of them. They're just uh, black. So, I'm wondering, do I need to have all plastic fittings? Like those. 
Um, don't know. I'm going to try to clean this, filter it, and keep it going. And is part of this crap that I'm getting possibly from these brass fittings? Um, any thoughts? Be appreciated. All right, this here is the second time I've emptied it, and it is a lot darker. And I ran it, what I did, I ran it really hard and then dumped it right away. Um, this is to be filtered, and this is in the process. Uh, well, it is filtered, that's being refiltered. This I just took out, so it has not been filtered. You can really see the the, uh, the particles in there. So I just thought I would uh, share that. Okay. Um, filtered it two, three times here. There's some particulate there that's really loading up, and you can see it's being carried out by the bubbles and stuff in here. Bubbles come down, um, and the bubbler, that's just a uh, extra filtered electrolyte. Um, looking over here, I don't really see too much being carried out. Um, smack it around a little bit and see if we get anything moving. Um, no, I don't really see anything there. So, um, this last clip for the night. I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. And, uh, really shake it up good. Action current draw. Here we go. And she goes nuts. I was trying to get out there. Starting to push it out the top there now. Boom. All the way down. Looking down here. It is pushing and pouring it out right there. But <clears throat> it's really loosening stuff up and gets it moving. That's for sure. I don't know why this crap is so bubbly. Very, very, very bubbly. Wow, oh, this is awesome. It's actually about 40 volts too. I've got four 12 volt stacks. So it's way more power than what we need going into this. Look at that bubbly garbage there. Uh, but <clears throat> running this heats up my alternator really quick. Yeah, 120 or so range. So, just looking to shake it up good before I go for the night. And, uh, I'm going to just leave it running just off the battery charger. And, uh, so 
let it do its thing. And it's uh <clears throat> coming out of there. Alright, I just walked in this morning and this is what I see. Uh this is in the bubbler. Looks like there's um fair amount of particulate in there that it's pushed through. But this is what really blew my mind. If I can get it at the right angle here. This is the return line. Look at that crap. It's just packed thick in there all the way. And, uh, God, I've taken so much out. It's like, what is causing this? You know? It is, to me, this seems really excessive. But, I don't know. So I'm gonna run it really. Uh, I'm gonna run it real hot for a few minutes, and uh, flush that stuff through, and then clear it out. And dun da da da! I'm all excited because KOH showed up here today or last night. So I'm gonna clean it all out and start fresh with uh, some new distilled water and the KOH and throw this crap out no more of this disaster bullshit and um, my only concern is uh, if I should open up the cell again or not and clean it out um, I'm thinking I don't think I will sand it but I may go ahead and open it and just take some um, some isopropyl alcohol and just wipe it down and then put it back together and uh, hopefully I'll, that'll do it. Now I'll flush everything else, the hoses and the, uh, the reservoir. And then let this turkey run and see what we get. Holy cow, look at this. This stuff's almost black. This is, uh, this is the same stuff I filtered three times last night. And yet this is what I find this morning. Um, there's still probably the worst of it's still in there. There's still a little bit left in the bottom. I got to drain that out yet, and then I'm gonna clean the cell out. But holy cow, what is this crap, and where is it coming from? That is unbelievable. That is nearly black. I already said that. I know, but it just blows my mind. Um, which. You know, looking at these here, is this coming from the brass? I don't know. If I have these problems with the, um, after I put the new distilled water and, K and KOH in, I'm going to go ahead and switch, switch out those brass fittings to plastic and see if that makes a difference. Um, what else could it be? Uh... I believe the initial stainless, the first stuff I used, which was from the commercial microwave, um, was most likely it was good stuff. I didn't have it tested, but I'm thinking, I mean, it's, I'm pretty sure it was a 316. <clears throat> I mean, it might have been a 304, but even with the 304, I wouldn't have had that, that kind of shit coming off of it, I wouldn't think. But now, this last, the last place I just added, um, were from a sink um, and those most likely were not 316 um, may have been the 304 if that so I don't I have no idea what the what the content of that stainless was so anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble the whole dang thing because if if this you can see this particulate starting to settle now but uh, if there was that much shit in there, then there's definitely stuff that needs to be cleaned out <laughs> in the cell. So, all right.